Mohammed Amin Didi was the first president of the Maldives. He was born on June 20, 1910 and was the son of Atharigi Ahmed of the Hura dynasty. In 1920, he went to Sri Lanka and studied in St. Joseph's College. In 1928, he went to India for further studies and returned to Maldives one year later. After returning to Maldives, he held many posts in the government such as the Chief Officer of Customs, Head of the Maldivian Post Office, Minister of Trade, Principal of Majidia School, and was also a member of the first Maldivian Parliament. After the death of Sultan Majid Didi the Parliament elected Amin Didi to succeed the Sultan which he refused. A referendum was held and Maldives became a republic after a 800-year Sultanate rule. Amin is well known for his efforts to modernize the country, which included the advancement of women, education in Maldives, nationalizing the fish export industry and an unpopular ban on tobacco smoking. The republic was short-lived and a revolution was brought by the people of Malay, while the president was in Ceylon for medical treatment. While he was abroad the people of Malay, appointed Vilanagi Ibrahim Didi, the vice president of Amin as the head of the government. Amin Didi was not aware of these events which had taken place in his absence and he returned to the country ignorant of what had happened. As soon as Amin Didi returned, for his own safety he was taken to Dunidu Island and was kept there under the government's supervision but was treated in the same manner as a head of state in the Maldives. Four months after being taken to Dunidu, secret letters were exchanged between Amin and Ibrahim Hilmi Didi to bring an end to this revolutionary government and to restore the Sultanate rule as a constitutional monarchy. One night Amin Didi arrived in Malay and tried to overthrow the government, enraging the people of Malay. He was attacked by an angry mob nearly beaten to death and was kicked off the island. Later, the leaders of this small rebel group who wanted Mohammed Amin as their leader were brought to court including Mohammed Amin Didi, Ibrahim Hilmi Didi and Shamsuddin Hilmi. These people were sentenced to exile. Mohammed Amin was banished to Gafaru Island, Ibrahim Hilmi was banished to Guli Island and Shamsuddin Hilmi was banished to Himmafushi Island. As the former president's health deteriorated, he was brought to Vihamana Fushi Island, where he died on the 19th of January 1954, at the age of 43. After the fall of President Mohammed Amin Didi, a referendum was held and 98% of the people voted in favor of restoration of the monarchy, so the country was again declared a sultanate.